G'day folks and welcome to this week's episode of Body Trim TV. Could exercise be making you fat? Is exercise making you fat? Pretty powerful suggestive headlines, but a question that I'd like to raise today. Now over the last three years, I've come under quite a bit of scrutiny from the fitness industry with my suggestions that exercise is not the weight loss panacea and is not the solution when it comes to losing weight. Now I'd like to dig into that topic a little bit today just to further equip you with a bit more knowledge as to why food holds the key, not strenuous exercise when it comes to losing weight. And I'll start off as I always do. One must first ascertain what their number one priority is. Is it a physique goal, aka weight loss, or is it a performance slash fitness goal? biggest problem we face is that 9 out of 10 people who join a gym have a physique weight loss goal. On the pre-exercise questionnaire, they inevitably say they want to one, lose weight and two, tone up. It's a physique goal. But unfortunately, they attempt their physique goal with fitness-based nutrition and fitness-based exercise. Simply doesn't work. You might lose a few kilos, but you'll never achieve the body that you ultimately desire, and therein lies the problem. One must establish their number one priority and then map out a plan for that goal. And of course, that plan is the body trim system. It's all there, it's all done. But let's get into the science a little bit more so that you can further understand exactly why I'm so passionate about this message. When you have a slice of bread, when it comes to basic calorie maths, I think you have to climb something like 20 flights of stairs to burn off that one slice of bread relative to the calories in, calories out. It's not all about what goes in and what goes out, and it's definitely not about the energy burn we do from the strenuous exercise, because 70% of your total daily energy expenditure comes from RMR. Resting metabolic rate. So our number one goal, our number one priority is to increase our resting metabolism. And the single most best way to do that is meal frequency. Three meals, three snacks, as per the body trim system, keeps the starvation response at bay and really ramps up that metabolic rate. The other challenge I have with strenuous exercise is this is what so many people often do that I speak to when they've just done a hard aerobic session. One, they feel like they've earned a treat. Inevitably that's the case, geez I've had a hard workout, I'm gonna go and eat that muffin or that cookie, or well if it's a body trim cookie it's all right of course, but the cookie from down the road probably not so good. So again we, we feel as though we've earned the treats and, and, and unfortunately once we start with the treats, it becomes very, very hard to stop. We get on that carb train and it gets really, really tough. So what I find though, is when we park the strenuous exercise, people are far more dialed into the things that matter most, the food timing and the type, and the weight falls off. And of course, the biggest thing we're trying to, to implicate always is the hormones. We're trying to lower insulin, the fat storage hormone, and increase glucagon, the fat releasing hormone. Always best done by the timing and type of real food. So is exercise making you fat? Is exercise prohibiting a person's weight loss goal? Yes it is, because we need to understand that first and foremost, if your goal is losing weight, it's the timing and type of real food always to be looked at first. Planned walking's all you need, then, when you've achieved the body that you desire, you can turn your attention to that fitness goal. I hope that's cleared things up. Have a great week, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.